Hello everyone, and welcome to a quick video on how to develop 120 or medium size film. Uh, 120 film is a substantially larger film than 35 millimeters, so the negatives and the prints are uh, the negatives are larger and the prints are of higher quality. Um, 120 film looks much different than 35 as well. And with 35, you have a standard metal cassette. With 120, you've got film wrapped in lightproof paper, and the paper wraps onto a spool. Uh, if you've never shot 120 film, you can get a very inexpensive for maybe I've gotten cameras as little as a dollar off eBay plus shipping that use medium format film and still work. They're usually old folding cameras from the 1950s and 60s and take interesting photographs, um, sometimes not frame worthy, but you do need to know how to judge exposure on your own or carry a light meter with you. These old cameras don't have uh, those built in. Also, modern SLRs, professional grade SLRs for medium format film, use this type of film. So, once a roll is exposed, uh, you will seal it with a lickable strap that goes around it, and then you'll break the strap. I was using masking tape to simulate that. Now, remember, all of this needs to be done in complete dark, or you will ruin all of your film. For this, you need no tools except your tank. So, the first step is to take the film off of the paper. This uh, roll of film has been was ruined. I bought a uh, an old camera, and this was the roll of film that came with the camera when it was originally purchased purchased in the 1960s. It had been loaded into the camera and never used. So, uh, which is unfortunate, but there was no real way to no, nothing I could do with it. The film was extremely fogged when it when I developed it just to see what condition it would be in, and it was shot absolutely shot. So one thing about 120 spools is they are always reusable. Most of them are plastic. For demonstration I used an old, old, old roll of film from the 1950s or older. It was made of wood. It's actually never been used before until now. Um, so now you'll have your negatives. And this is just like your negative strip from the 35 millimeter, if you saw my earlier video on that. Except that this is a little bit stiffer, and because it's larger, it's a little bit harder to use. You'll need a tank and a roll for 120. 120 rolls, can, reels rather, cannot take 220 film. 220 film is longer, you need a 220 reel for those. I do not shoot 220, nor do I have any reels for them, so you'll have to rely on someone else for a video on how to do that. Similar to show, as shown on the 35mm film uh, video, you, saw, you slide the film into the clip, and then you bow the film, and just begin rolling it onto the reel. This is a little bit trickier because of the film size, than with 35 millimeter, but once it gets going, it tends to go pretty easily, and it tends to keep itself in the spiral pretty well. And there we go, we're finished. Just like that, pretty quick. We're going to take it and we're going to put it in this tank. Put the cap on the tank, and then put the lid on the cap, vice versa, however you want to call it, and you're set. All you need to do now is add the chemicals and begin the processing as you would for 35mm film. 120 film develops in the same time as equivalent 35mm, 100 ISO, 100 ISO. They develop the same way, same with 400, whatever you're developing. The only difference is that you can fit one roll of film per tank instead of two.